I, <laughs> it's surreal, um, you know, coming up from within the agency, um, like as, as a new officer, as a new officer, they ask you like, what, what rank do you hope to um, achieve while you're at the police department? So I thought, well, um, hopefully one day be chief of police. Of course, at that time, I just wanted to get on my own as a police officer. So n never thought I would be here. And when we talked, oh, I guess it was two months ago when they named you interim, you said it was a goal to become permanent. Did you feel like the last two months work was working you up to get to that point? Yeah, I, I definitely appreciate being able to serve as the interim role. And I really appreciate the collaboration that we've had with uh, law enforcement stakeholders, with community stakeholders, with different governmental stakeholders in uh, you know, wanting the Asheville Police Department to be successful. And so I really think a lot of that work has helped set up where I am today and where the department is today. Does the work change at all now that interims dropped from your name? Or are you going to continue doing the same work you've been doing? Yeah, so I initially I said I wanted to be out in the community more, which thankfully I've, I've had the opportunity to do. We've done a series of Coffee with the Cops where we, you know, we got to hear feedback from the community because it's important for us to know how each neighborhood wants the pl Asheville Police Department to serve them. And so it has to take that collaboration in order for us to best serve each neighborhood and our whole community. I heard a few times yesterday from the folks that I spoke with um, that community policing was really something that you're strong on. Tell me about that. So yes, I, um, I want us to be the best community policing agency in the state of North Carolina. Um, it really takes collaboration with the community to look at lasting, solving lasting issues. I mean, it's, it's, it's really important that we work together to see what issues each neighborhood has. Um, and it's really important for us to be in constant communication because relationships are the currency of policing. And when we have good relationships, we have better trust in law enforcement. So you want, you want to be more visible in, with folks? Yes. So I want to be out in community more. I've had a great opportunity to do that over the last two months. And not only do I, I want to be out in the community, but I want the, all of our officers to be out in the community. I want so, to, to be on foot more and, and out engaging the community more. In order to do that, staffing, I'm sure, is a, is a huge part of that. So we talked about that two months ago. Where do we stand now? So right now we have, um, uh, we're, we're improving in staffing. So we still have our vacancies, but thankfully our lateral hires have increased. Um, you know, from 2015 up to the spring of 2023, we only had two lateral hires. And thankfully we've been able to hire five laterals since the spring of 2023. And we have a couple more that are getting ready to sign on with us. So we appreciate that. So people want to come to this department. What are you doing to make them want to come here? So we are really increasing our recruiting, but it's not only us with the, within the department because some of our best recruits are police officers, but also our best recruits are our community of Asheville. Folks just saying and encouraging people that they think would make a great police officer, especially one that's focused on community policing to join the Asheville Police Department. Another big issue we have is homelessness. Um, is there a specific plan you have to address this issue? So we are working with the National Alliance to End Homelessness with our community, our continu continuum of care to see how to best address the issues surrounding the unhoused. Um, but not only with the, with the police department looking at how we do operations, but also in collaboration with our, our joint stakeholders. You know, for example, we're going to join Haywood Street Congregational Church this afternoon when they do their groundbreaking on their affordable housing units. And we're working with Compass Point Village to see what are the best ways that we can help make sure it's a safe environment there, but also for the surrounding community. Okay. Um, and you've, you've found that, I guess, having a team work on this instead of just the police department or just the sheriff's office or just uh, Compass Point, it's, it's better to have more people involved. It is, you know, it's, um, um, I, I think sometimes we can make decisions in a, in a silo and we don't need to do that. It's important for us to make decision, decisions jointly with our stakeholders, with our community collaborators, with our outreach workers, with other, other city staff, and most importantly, with the community. Fair or unfair, people still talk about Asheville being, Ash, downtown Asheville being dangerous during nighttime. Yeah. Do you think that's true? Are you working to improve that? So, I, you know, I, I encourage folks 
that think Asheville, downtown Asheville especially, is dangerous to come out and walk around. Come out and see for yourselves. Don't take other people's word at it. Um, I came out on my own Sunday afternoon, walked for an hour downtown in plain clothes, and everyone was out having fun, enjoying lunch with each other, and it was a good environment downtown. And so what I'm hearing regularly is that they're seeing better things downtown and a safer environment. Great. Um, like I told you, I talked to a few people yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, the reviews were all glowing. Yeah. What have you done in 26 years here to make people so sure that you're the person for this job? Oh, wow. That's a, that's a big question. Um, so, you know, in my 26 years at the Asheville Police Department, I've been very blessed to have served in a variety of roles, from investigations to patrol to community engagement to public housing. Um, and I, I, you know, I really appreciate the relationships that I was able to develop in all of those roles. You know, I appreciate being part of the community engagement division since 2020, and that that really helped me form a lot of relationships. But when I was hired in 1998, Chief Will Anarino at the time was very focused on community policing. So, um, you know, Asheville Police Department has been a community policing agency for the last 26 years. Um, and so I just, I appreciate the opportunities that I've had. So a lot's been made that you're local yeah. and that you're our sixth police chief in the last decade. Mm -hmm. So are you hoping to change that trend? So yeah, I, um, you know, we, we have had, you know, we, we've had a lot of changeover with police chiefs, you know, especially in the last decade. But I also feel that each one of them brought something to the agency that we've been able to take in and, and uh, really used for the benefit of the agency and the benefit of our community. So I think we're in a good place now to take our relationships, our institutional knowledge, and new innovative ideas that we have and bring all those together to make the best department possible. So you talked about your goal when you started in the agency. I, I assume your goal might be to finish in this agency as well. Do you hope to sit in that chair for a number of years? Yeah, so I hope to be in this chair for a while and I will definitely finish out my career here at the Asheville Police Department.